I've challenged myself to only eat out of vending machines for an entire day. I've got plans to visit a hospital, a hotel, a gym, office buildings, stores, possibly amusement parks. Is the USA lacking on the vending machine game? Today I'm putting it to the test. My first stop is at a charging spot where I had to charge my car and I just happened to run into one of the coolest vending machines I've ever seen in my life. I did have to forego all of the other fast food restaurants in there, so KFC is gonna have to wait, even though I got a good hack to show you guys. Follow the TikTok, Instagram, and Shorts channel for that. I mean, it makes sense. I'm at a unique location. I'm gonna find a unique machine. I end up at a rest stop that has a freaking vending machine with cake in it. This is the beginning of something great. Inside there's rainbow cakes, chocolate cakes, even carrot cake. This guy Carlos makes these cakes and ships these vending machines around the world. I had a lot of options in here. Carrot, chocolate, rainbow, red velvet, vanilla. Rainbow. 680 calories, $9.53 for taxes. Let me eat cake. Does it come with a fork? Forks have been spotted. I got a cake. At the same location, they also had a snack machine and one with drinks. They're big. So in this snack machine, they had a huge assortment of snacks. I'm like, I don't know what to get. Some of these snacks I have never seen before. Cheetos, cheddar jalapeno. But I see the munchies. I really just missed my dog. $2.50 for a bag of chips, guys. That's inflation. And there she goes. Whoa. Got myself some munchies. I looked at the soda machine and I was like, you know what? I deserve this, I'm getting Gatorade. Get some energy, fuel, gym, sports, Gatorade, yeah. Now let's go in for a bite of all this stuff. These snacks are what's up right now. Thank you, Carlos, for inspiring this video. I open up the cake and I go in for like one big bite, getting all of the layers, all the colors. Pretty good taste in cake. Pretty damn good cake. It's definitely impressive for a cake out of the vending machine. Is it worth nearly $10? Yeah, to each their own. My munchies were great as always. Cheeto. It's crazy, they make mini Doritos. And the Gatorade, you know, refreshing. Hydration, much needed. Where am I gonna end up next? Now I'm fueled up, ready to continue the search. Did I just hit the mother load in the beginning? On the road back, I drive by a Crunch Fitness where I was like, oh, I read online vending machines are in gyms. So I head in there and refrigerators everywhere. They don't have any vending machines in there. I just kind of bowed out. Didn't work out on this one, guys. I have seen in the entrance in the past of places like Walmart, sometimes they have vending machines in there. So I walk into the Walmart. Nope, just carts. Do you guys have any vending machines here? Took them out all from inside to outside. Yeah, you can come on. I'll show you. Can okay. See it. Thanks. Right there. You can see it from right here. They're outside. <laughs> this is where they are now. So if you want a fresh, cold beverage for a dollar, and it is only a dollar. Head outside, guys. A Coke machine, a Pepsi, and a 7-Up. Here's a hack for you. Never buy a drink at checkout. For 24 ounces, you're buying a drink for $2.28. You head outside, only $1, no taxes. I'm just saying, you want the drink to go. Save some money. Don't get ripped off. Ginger ale, root beer, mango orange, fruit punch, Pepsi, the huge. Coca-Cola machine. Again, the usual, but look at, they've got purified water in a can. That's just cool. I'm gonna get that. I didn't bring any cash. I'm back. So I took my dollar to the side of the machine, like old times, this feels nostalgic. Stuck it into the machine, grabbed myself a Dasani water out of a can. Why? Because I've never seen that in my freaking life. Canned water, guys. It's a real freaking thing. And refreshing it was. High quality H2O. Good to know the machine works, guys. So I heard hospitals have vending machines. So I head down the street and end up finding Nemours Children's Hospital. They're gonna let me in there and get some food, I think. Vending machine? Yeah. You used to be in the machine? Yeah. You don't have a machine yeah. And they actually gave me a little name tag that said first floor only, and I walk over to their little dining area. They actually had four vending machines. One snack machine, one soda machine, one insane bistro machine, and then this like vegan machine, which isn't really a machine. It's just like a, I trust you. If you say you're buying that, open up the refrigerator door with this credit card access. Which I gotta say, that's, that's really nice of you, vegan out, to be so trusted worthy of people. Obviously, I had to get something out of this baked smart bistro. Inside of this thing, they had everything from hot dogs to calzones, dumplings, bows, to freaking White Castle sliders. Okay, that's it. Oh, lava cake. It's hard to pick. So I decided to get the calzone and the pot stickers. Wow, it's a big ass screen. I wonder how long this is gonna take to cook in this thing. This vending machine is unlike anyone I've ever seen because it's, it's literally automated to tell me how long everything is baking in there. And it was nice enough to let me know, oh, I didn't forget that you ordered two things. Oh my God. All of a sudden the calzone's coming out and it literally is like 
steaming out fresh, hot, baked food. I'm like, I grab it, I'm like, dude, this is freaking hot. This is badass. And then it starts the countdown for the next item, the pot stickers to come out finished. 30 seconds on the clock. The same thing happened. It does coming out. I even got confronted by someone being like, whoa, that's cool. It makes it inside there. I don't know, there's gotta be just like an oven in there heating it up. Yeah, right? Okay, let's see if they actually taste good. So I tried the calzone, and I was hoping it was a little bit more tasting like legit, like a pizzeria pizza. Filled with meat. But it kind of just tastes like a better bread version of a Hot Pocket. It tastes like a Hot Pocket. But like bigger. I like it, don't get me wrong. Worth the cost? That's a debate. But the experience, I would say yes. But the pot stickers. Let's check out these dumplings. Out of a vending machine? This one right here doesn't seem steamed appropriately, but this one does. Do not get me wrong. They freaking tasted exactly like any other pot sticker I get from any freaking restaurant. Spicy, tasty, definitely filled with meat. How's own? Five out of ten. But this? This is some high quality Asian food. But the only thing it was missing was the sauce. Like I need some type of like dip. Now they had sauces at the diner, but it was like barbecue sauce and like mustard and ketchup. Not in a pot sticker, guys. Because at the last spot, there weren't any vending machines. I was like, I might as well grab some more snacks. I spotted the flaming Hot Doritos. I love myself some flaming Hot Nachos. We're going flaming Hot. And I had to get a bag. I love these things. Okay, what's next? Hotels? So I swing by the Courtyard Marriott, and right when I walk in, I see they have a pantry, but not any vending machines around. So I ask the staff. You guys don't. Okay, that's okay. And they said, no, they don't have any at that location. Not in this hotel. Vending machines are not like anywhere in US. This is like sad. Is it because they just want to tax everything or something? This has become some type of scavenger hunt, hasn't it? Let me find an office building. So I head to the closest spot. Not gonna lie, I had some trouble deciding which office building might have a vending machine in it. So I head in and I'm searching, but I'm not seeing anywhere. No one gets thirsty in these places. Like, you were at a doctor's office. Guys, I don't think so. Let's get out of here. Okay, now I'm off to my next spot, an amusement park. Keep right toward Disney Springs. I think that there's got to be some here. And right as I go down the escalator, I see the Coca-Cola factory, and I'm like, hell yeah, there's got to be vending machines in there. They got to have a Coca-Cola vending machine in the Coca-Cola place, right? And to my surprise, I did not see anything like that at all. But I saw so much Coca-Cola swag, I was like, thirsty. You can even meet the polar bear. I go to the third floor where they have a little cafe, but no. No machines at all. It's just a soda machine. I asked the staff. Uh, we don't have any vending machines. Oh my god, my mind's blown. There you have it, guys. No machine. It's also kind of sad. So I left. That was cool. Before I give up on America, I did hear about one more awesome vending machine that I need to find. A salad vending machine. Is that really where this video is going? To healthy food? So let's take a drive. I've been trying to find this freaking salad vending machine and I cannot find this location. So I did drive by another hospital. I decided to drop by. I walk in and actually found one of the attendants to the vending machine filling it up. You got probably one of the coolest jobs, to be honest. But no salad. Man, where's that salad one in Orlando? I'm sure, I come and I haven't seen it. So he called his boss. You know what I'm about a salad, a salad bar vending machine? Salad bar vending machine. And his boss didn't either. Well, if I'm gonna ask anyone, you would know. So he put an end to my rat race. Thanks for your help. The attendant was super nice to give me some food. Got myself a sandwich. Let's open this up and see if it tastes good or not. It's pretty damn full of food. But it's pretty good. Tomato, bacon, chicken. It's actually kind of healthy. I just made it into O'Shucks, mainly because they have two vending machines here. One that is so badass, I have to show it to you. Not this one, look at this one. It's the mystery box. I've never seen one like this anywhere else. They've got everything good in here, including the question mark thing. A bag of dicks. I don't know if I can say that. A really weird pair of earrings. Pokemon cards? Adult color time? The walk of shame, I wonder what that is. Hmm, are any of these things food? Birthday kit. There's a cupcake in it? Okay, it's not my birthday, but it's my birthday. We're buying it. Got it. What's in this thing? It's flammable. More things to light on fire. Oh, there's the hostess cake, balloons. Aw, I hope your birthday doesn't blow. Best vending machine ever? Actually, I think so. So there it is, all the machines that I could find in 24 hours. Where was I not looking that I could find some? Let me know in the comments. And until then, stay happy, stay hungry, and stay with it, because there's way more to come. This video just did not have enough food in it.